Well, that, my friends, is how you strip down a 1970 Suburban 12 in about, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes. I'm down to the point now, I just need to take the whatever odd switches somebody else put in here. I'll uh, probably leave the ammeter in just because. Um, throttle cable should be good. Choke cable I won't need. This one's kind of messed up, so I'll probably take it out. But I gotta cut the bolts off from the original battery tray because they're in my way. I'm gonna have to make a cut over here so the, um, the motor will clear this side of the, uh, the dash tower. While I have everything apart, I'll probably put a new belt on it because this, this belt's junk. Um, but this year tractor is going to have a diesel in it. Next time you see it in a video, it's probably going to have a diesel in it. Uh, my battery on my camera is almost dead and it's getting late in the day, so I'm not sure I'm going to get too, too much more done today. I would like to try to get the battery tray in, drill the holes for the battery tray, but we'll see. Most of my batteries for my drill and my grinder are dead, so got to see what I can do. I'll check back with you in a little bit. Well, I got the clutch tray in now. Secret trick to get the old bolts off. You uh, stick a pry bar against them to hold them in, and then you just cut them off flush with a cutoff wheel. Um, have to trim this guy off because it hits the diesel motor when you put it in. I got the clutch and everything hooked up. Needs a little bit of lube, but it's all good. I'm going to reuse the original throttle cable on this thing. So I'm ready to drop that motor in and bolt her down. <laughs> 